ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुमृत ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम गुरव गौरीचंद्राय राधिकाय सदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ता नमो नम संसार दुख जलद से पति काम क्रोधादिप्रमकृत दुर्वासन से निघृत से निराश्रय से चेतन्य चंद्रम दे हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपीकांत राधाकांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी विश्वभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय भक्तिया विहीनाय अपराध लक्ष्मी क्षिप्त कामे कृपाई तम शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते शरणारविंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके वेरी ऑस्पेशियस डे टुडे इज गंगा दशहरा the appearance day of shri ganga devi there are many names of ganga devi <coughs> mandakini alaknanda bhagirathi patit pavani ganga <coughs> ganga devi descend on this planet on this day so that's appearance day of her anyone who just hear the name of ganga or utter the name ganga mm. immediately get purified and there is a practice many devotees when they take shower they utter seven to 10 times ganga 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 and they get the result of taking bath in ganges which is purifying and invoke all auspiciousness no <coughs> who is ganga devi ganga devi ganga is a gopi in golok vrindavan who is serving krishna getting attracted towards ganga krishna once approached ganga devi to have pastimes with her and she became so shy that krishna approached her and he was ready and she was ready to be with krishna to fulfill all his past times but meanwhile she saw radharani is coming to krishna the moment she saw this ganga devi became so shy and she is wondering how i can hide myself if radha will see me then she'll be not happy to see me with krishna so she melted and became water turned out to water she melted so that's ganga devi and <clears throat> that's kolo vrindavan but in this bhom vrindavan <clears throat> on this planet when krishna descended with his associates and performing his past time manifesting his past times once upon a time he saw his father nand maharaj and all his rajavasis the inhabitants of gaj they were 
making some arrangements for some travels in in their bullock cart on the bullock cart sorry <clears throat> then krishna approached them asking oh baba where are you going why all brajvasis are making arrangements where they are going nan baba said krishna we are going to haridwar why to take bath in holy river ganges she is just by remembering her or take bath in her one gets purified so we are going to take bath in ganges krishna is wondering oh <coughs> bhagavatam says tirth kurvanti tirthani the sadhus they purifying the tirthas they are the one who are purifying even ganges that holy river ganges which is purifying the three universes that the padam salilam yatha the upper planetary system planet earth and lower planetary system huh the river ganges purifying three uh, planets <coughs> it means the entire universe <coughs> but when ganges was was coming on this planet a long story maybe you all know this i'm just giving one little uh, glimpse of it when she decided to descend on the planet earth she has a doubt and that was i'm going to come in a big heavy stream and if there is no one to hold me then i will go to lower, lower planet system patal so there should be someone who can hold my weight my stream on the head seeing hearing this bhagirath he prayed to shiva he prayed to shiva please help us and lord shiva he he heard this prayer and he said okay i will hold ganga on my head so considering ganga is like charnamrit the water emanating from the lotus feet of lord vaman bhagwan mahadev hold it ganga on his head and other doubt ganga devi had was when many people will come in my water and take bath in my water they will get purified but what will happen to me i will get impure and contaminated so what is going to happen with me then bhagirat said sanyasi nay shina shantah when sanyasi is means pure devotees when they will come and take bath in your water they will purify you <clears throat> so ganga ganga is purifying the three universe but pure devotees are even purifying ganga gangar parashah hai paschate pavan darshan e pavitra karo ei tumar gun ganga is purifying <clears throat> sorry the pure devotee is purifying ganga tum mere ek register padha lana green wala nahi blue wala and purifying even ganga so that's why nand maharaj was planning to go to ganga to take bath there but krishna thought even my pure devotees they are enough man bola green wala nahi dusra lana even they are purifying the river ganga but then what to speak of my associates shri nand maharaj who are vishuddha sattva not only pure devotees they are eternal associates how can they have to go why they have to go and take bath in ganga rather i will invoke ganga here to serve my brajvasis to serve my gopis and to serve my past times so that's why krishna told anand maharaj oh baba टेबल पर रखा है ओके कृष्ण टोल्ड नंद बाबा बाबा वाई 
we have to go to river ganga because everything is present in our braj mandal even haridwar is here even kedarnath badrinath all the holy places are in vrindavan nan baba say re kanaiya i don't believe your words i don't believe your words where is river ganga here then krishna said yes ganga is here where i can't see ganga then krishna immediately invoked ganga in his meditation hey gange come here that ganga maharani who is in the form of a gopi in bolo vrindavan she started flowing near govardhan by the name manasi ganga manasi means with medit in remember meditation and ganga krishna meditated or remembered ganga and ganga started flowing in govardhan that's manasi ganga and all brajvasi saw this and they took bath in ganga <coughs> so that's the main ganga manasi ganga invoked by krishna all brajvasi took bath in ganga and then all the gopis and krishna have water splashing past them in ganga and sometimes the boat past time past time in in manasi ganga so today's appearance of ganga there is one verse i heard which says ahir ahir ripu kanta pitr sambandh kanta har tanaya nihantari pran dhatri dhvaj sah sakhi sut sut kanta pitr sampujya kanta pitr sirasi vadanti janvi na punatu another name of ganga is janvi what is the meaning of janvi <clears throat> when king bhagirath was taking ganga to deliver his four father which were turned to ashes oh. when kapil bhagwan opened his eyes and 60000 sons of maharaj sagar turned into ashes then his descendant his descendant ayushman dilip everyone tried their best to bring ganga to purify the four fathers but it was all failure and then king bhagirath when he invoked ganga ganga start following him and told bhagirath you don't have to turn back i will follow you wherever you want to go so bhagirath on his chariot was moving and ganga was following and hearing the ankle bell bhagirath rishi bhagirath hearing the ankle bell of ganges but while moving when bhagirath reached mayapur navdeep dham and was moving further he didn't heard the ankle bell of ganga and he was wondering why i'm not hearing this he turned back and ganga stop in navdeep dham bhagirath said oh ganga you helped me coming here just little more distance to cover and then my four fathers which are turned to ashes by your touch they will get deliverance <clears throat> they will get liberated just little more but ganga said wait a minute bhagirath i have to say something very important i want to stay here for some days bhagirath said but why because my prabhu shri gaur sundar means ma prabhu his appearance day is coming very soon that is phalguni purnima his appearance is coming very soon i want to observe his appearance here in this holy mayapur navdeep dham and i want to worship him and after observing his appearance then i will move with you <clears throat> and then bhagirath said okay as you wish i will also stay here then ganga was flowing and nearby was a hermitage of uh, bhagirath uh, janavi muni janu muni 
so ganga flowing and all the paraphernalia of janamuni got floated in ganga the 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 stream of ganga took all the you know the belongings of janamuni and janamuni saw this huh how dare this river take all took all my belongings janamuni was so powerful he sipped he drank the entire ganga imagine you can't even drink one bucket of water do you can you no and he drank ganga and bhagirath so oh, where is ganga gone disappeared he drank everything the the entire river he drank then bhagirath prayed to janu muni there was a purpose why i was taking ganges with me to purify to deliver my ancestors please help me and then janu muni he took our ganges from his thighs which is known as janga and from janu muni from this past time the name ganga uh, comes out to janavi the daughter of janu muni called janavi that's when evening aarti we sing jayo jayo gora chande aarti ko shobha janavi tata vane jagamana loba so on the bank of janavi means ganges ganga so many past times of mahaprabhu took place on the bank of ganga so many past time of krishna where at govardhan mansi ganga so many past times took place there oh. so another name of ganga is janavi so the word says aharipu kanta pitra sambandha kanta हरतन निहंतरी प्राण धात्री ध्वज सह सखि सुत सुत कांता पितृ संपूज्य कांता पितृ शिरसी वदंती जानवी ना पुनातु वेरी फनी मीनिंग हु इज जानवी हु इज गंगा सो सी व्हाट इज सेइंग द एनिमी ऑफ सर्पेंट नॉट सेइंग थिंग्स डायरेक्ट बट इनडायरेक्ट Oh. the subduer of serpent who is subduing serpent garuda the enemy of serpent is garuda right so the enemy of serpent garuda and the master of garuda who is the master of garuda hari krishna so ahi ripu kanta hari and the kanta the beloved of hari is lakshmi hari ripu kanta pitra sambandha kanta and lakshmi is daughter of ocean because lakshmi devi appeared from ocean haratane nihantari and who made a bridge on the ocean lord ram oh. sakhi sut sut kanta and the beloved of the ram is sita and that person who kidnapped that sita is ravan pitra sampujya kanta ravan then who is the son of ravan indrajit that indrajit who made a lakshman unconscious who made a lakshman unconscious then pran dhatri who brought back life to lakshman who brought back life to lakshman who brought this hubs hanuman no hanuman pitra sirasi vadanti that hanuman who is 
on the flag of someone tell me hanuman always on the flag of someone whose flag arjun arjun's flag hanuman is always there so arjun uh, hanuman who always sit on the flag of arjun and arjun's friend the best friend is krishna and that janavi is janavi is related to krishna means the dear of krishna that's the glory so saying so much twist saying the glories of and the explanation of janavi devi means ganga devi today is appearance day i wanted to speak very uh, details elaborate but i think you all are very scholar scholarly devotees no need to repeat those past times you all know everything so i just touch few points the important ones right Yeah, everyone is so intelligent. Yes, just say yes. You all are very intelligent scholars. Yes, I know. So that's the glories of Ganga Devi. Then also disappearance day of Sri Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu. we already explained about him yesterday shivalde vidya bhushan prabhu <coughs> is gaudiya vetan acharya shivalde vidya bhushan prabhu that that means gaudiya vetan acharya he is holding that legacy of gaudiya siddhanta there are many glories of him i am just touching one point that for that reason for which krishna appeared on this planet even though he is with us associates in golok vrindavan and enjoying his past times there but for some particular reasons he come reason he came he descended on this planet and expanded his past time and that is prem das nirjas korite aswadan rag marg bhakti loke korite pracharan रसिक शेखर कृष्ण परम करुण कृष्ण इज रसिक शेखर टू गिव प्लेजर टू इज असोसिएट्स एंड टू ड्राइव प्लेजर फ्रॉम सींग दैम गेटिंग प्लीज और इन आनंद ब्लिस दैट द प्राइम पर्पज बट ऑल्सो टू गिव रागनु का भक्ति टू एवरी वन टू इंस्पायर एवरी वन टू फॉलो रागनु का भक्ति सो even though the gopis in madhuri ras the gopis are swakya means they are they belong to krishna his own shaktis his own potencies but he wants to taste something very special so intentionally he got those sakis gopis married with some other gopas and he wants to relish this parakya bhav the paramar mood he made them married to someone else and he got in love with those gopis now this mood in this material world is condemnable but intentionally krishna is doing this with the help of his potency yoga maya to drive a special uh, flavor relishing this parigya bhav which is very very bright and effulgent jay jay ujwal ras sarva ras sar parakya bhave jaha braje te prachar krishna wants to relish this so mahaprabhu also came to give so bhakti shriyam means the beauty of this unnat ujwal ras mahaprabhu also relish this uh, he came to give this so many details many details and understanding the mood of mahaprabhu his internal mood then his personal uh, his very intimate associate shri rup goswami he appeared on this planet and 
श्री चैतन मनोभिष्ट स्थापित भूत ने ही स्टैब्लिश द मनोभिष्ट द हार्ट डिजायर ऑफ श्री चैतन महाप्रभु एंड दैट इज पर भाव टू स्टैब्लिश पर भाव नाना शास्त्र विचार नेक निपनो सदर्म संस्थापको कृष्ण केम टू स्टैब्लिश परो धर्म परो धर्म मीन्स पर भाव so by writing so many scriptures shri rupa goswami pad also wants to establish word sat dharma sansthapako that mode of parakya bhav so there was big noise there was big rumors and many people didn't like this idea why this gaudiya acharyas are explaining about uh, the gaudiya sampradaya saying that oh the radha rani and gopis they are not married to krishna and they are married to someone else but developing love with krishna this paramar mood is totally uh, it's not a good conduct this immoral conduct but whereas radha rani is married to krishna this was very this uh this gossip was very much prevailing in those days but rup goswami established parakya bhav saying if radharani is married to krishna then why krishna playing flute and radharani has to hide herself and coming to see krishna why she has to hide if she is wife of krishna why never hide from the parents or from the seniors but rather than always making an excuse to come and see krishna and in dwarika krishna married to so many queens and from every queen krishna got 11 children if rather than is married to krishna why she didn't got even one child why not that means the queens of dwarika they are more superior than rather than then they can deliver 11 children whereas radharani don't have even have one child that means whatever loving relationship we hear between radha and krishna that's not dependent on any material love there is no sense enjoyment there whereas there is a pure love which is only meant to please the other person to please one's beloved so that's parakya bhav and for that brahma uddhav shiva and all great personalities they are praying the lotus the dust from the lotus feet of radha rani because she is uh, the uh, and all other gopis establishing parakya bhav so many things can be said on this topic i already many times have explained about this but there were so many attacks on gaudiya sampradaya by many false people saying that gaudiya people are not bona fide why they worshiping radha with krishna what is the relationship of radha and krishna she loves krishna or she is married to krishna so there were so many things like that <clears throat> but our every time from shri rup goswami pad all the way to other acharyas always cutting their arguments by giving evidences from the scriptures and logic to make them understand that parakya bhav the paramar mood is divine is pure and there is no harm in that so this also happened at the time of shila vishnu chakur thakur and once upon a time Vishnu Chakur Thakur, when he was very old, but he was doing performing Govardhan Parikrama every day. And while performing Parikrama every day, uh, those so-called imitators who were against this theory, they wanted to kill Vishnu Chakur Thakur. They made a plot, a plan, that when he will be alone, secluded in Govardhan, uh, in Vrindavan Parikrama, we will just kill him right there. because he is 
he is very intelligent and intellectual and is establishing something which is immoral which is vulgar so they already planned this and while performing vrindavan parikrama vishnu chakur thakur he was walking and he entered in near to the bushes and he turned himself into a very young girl almost like 11 year young girl so beautiful girl and all these people who were following vishnu chakur thakur in with a mood to kill him they saw oh where he is gone he disappeared but they only saw a small girl a young girl there and they asked the young girl a hey, young girl a hey, lali have you seen a baba walking here walking by she said no i am busy plucking flowers because i am in the service of radha rani and she is waiting for me in javad because she is married there and all this people they got surprised to hear because radharan is married in javad to some other gopa called abhimanyu and meanwhile after a while sorry after a while they saw this girl turn again as vishnu chakur thakur so vishnu chakur thakur in his manjari swarup he proved that parakya bhav is a pure and is present so the same challenge came forward at a place at the city called jaipur jaipur means the embodiment of victory the meaning of jaipur is embodiment of victory victory over what a big problem appeared there is a temple called govindji and there were many other sampradayas who started complaining to the king of jaipur why radha rani have to be with krishna what is the relationship of radha rani with krishna there should be rukmani with krishna why krishna has to be worshiped yeah. narayan is superior than krishna full of all opulences as so many other this kind of questions appeared there so why it is like this then the king of jaipur he was very fond of the gaudiya vaishnav acharyas so he approached shila vishnu chakur thakur to please come and defeat their arguments i am not scholarly person to defeat their arguments please come to explain to them why radharani has to be worshiped with krishna vishnu chakur thakur was very old and he was hardly can walk at that time so he said sorry i cannot come i cannot travel i cannot move so then he empowered his his shiksha disciple shri baldev vidyabhushan prabhu baldev vidyabhushan prabhu very skinny oh so humble and meek he got blessings from vishnu chakur thakur and he arrived at jaipur and he come across he came across this questions been raised why radharani has to be served with krishna and what is the meaning of parikya bhav we don't believe this many this questions was raised and they pointed out all this other sects pointed out there is no commentary you have no bhashya on on your gaudiya sampradaya whereas there are so many other bhashya so many commentaries of every sampradaya but gaudiya vaishnav has no bhashya because shri chatane mahaprabhu he said shrimad bhagavatam is only our bhashya is only our commentary artham brahm sutra nam bharat arth vinirnayam gayatri bhashya rupa so vedat parihitam aradya bhagwan brajesh kanyas tad dham vrindavanam ramya kachit upasana braj vargedu ya kalpita shrimad bhagavat praman amlam prema purmarth mahan shri chatane mahaprabhu matam idam so mahaprabhu he only established shrimad bhagavatam as his commentary no need of any other commentary 
Bhagavatam is everything. But all these other people, they say, no, 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 this is not a point. What is Bhagavatam? Bhagavatam, we all believe Bhagavatam. But where is your commentary on Kodiya? Bring, write this commentary. We are giving you seven days time. If you are able to write, we will believe. Otherwise, stop worshipping Radha with Krishna. That was a challenge on Shri Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu. And Shri Baldev Prabhu, Vidya Bhushan Prabhu, he asked Govindev, do you want Radharani to be with you? If yes, then you have to help me. And if you can't help me, then you are the one who have to suffer because then Radharani will be removed from your side. And in this way, Shivalde with Devotion Prabhu, he he was in medit he meditating how to write this because he just got seven days time to write a big commentary on Vedan Sutra written by Sri Vedvyasi. <clears throat> there are many bhashyas like Vodayan Bhashya, Sharirik Bhashya, and many commentaries on this Vedan Sutra. So, seven days time was a big challenge. Shivalde Buddha Pishwar Prabhu. Remembering Govindev and he slept. And when he woke up in the morning, he saw the commentary was already written there. And when he opened this book, he saw, oh, each and every word is so beautifully written. Hmm, so beautifully written. And he understood who wrote this commentary. A big book, thick book. He understood who wrote this in just one one night, overnight, he understood it is his Govindji who came personally to write this because he wants Radharani to be with him. He can't live without Radha. He wrote this commentary and then the next day, Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu, he brought this commentary all to all these people and they say, what? In just one night you wrote this? He said, I didn't write this. Govindev himself wrote this. Really? So what is the name of your commentary? Then Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu thought, if Govindev wrote this, the credit should go to him. And he said, yes. The name of this commentary, this Bhashya is Govinda Bhashya. And they all saw this. And all questions being answered there with evidences from the scriptures, from Vedas, Puranas and other Upanishads. And they all oh, got defeated just by reading this commentary. And since then, never ever anyone dare pointed out to Gaudiya Sampradaya why Radharani have to be worshipped with Krishna. And there were some many other people who also again raised this question. But then our Gurudev, he was also very fluent in cutting those arguments and establishing Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy means that Parakya Bhav. So, <clears throat> Gaudiya Vedanta Acharya Shri Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu. And because of that, our Param Gurudev, Shri Srimad Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj, he named his society as Shri Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. Shri Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. So, a very little Pushpanjali, little something at the lotus feet of Shri Baldev Vidya Vishnu Prabhu. Srila Bhakti Udhan Swami Maharaji, Pondracharya Skon, in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, he is dedicating this Bhagavad Gita to Shri Baldev Vidya Vishnu Prabhu. Because Shri Baldev Vidya Vishnu Prabhu gave commentary on Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> that is his glories. That is his glorious. And he wrote also some books. One very prominent book he wrote is Siddhanta Ratna, in which he wrote a very beautiful shloka. Eshwari Nishtanam Madhurya Prakashitam Saraswati Prava Gaudasi Virai Vismay Vipatecha Saraswati Gon Eva Pravasa. 
the meaning is if you ever come to india and visit this place called prayag the confluence the meeting of three holy rivers ganga jamuna and saraswati you can see different colors three rivers different color they meeting together ha huh, this is prayag so when you go and you see you will only we only can see two rivers meeting together ganga and jamuna where is the third one which is known as saraswati the river saraswati have undercurrent undercurrent so it's not easy to see saraswati but we one can see ganga and jamuna but on special occasions like new moon day or full moon day all this special occasions the undercurrent of saraswati also can be seen overcome so three rivers can seen on special occasions and many people go and visit to see this three rivers meeting together otherwise regular days only two rivers can be seen that means saraswati is under current but special occasions she comes over why bande vidya bhushan prabhu he raised this point and wrote this sutra explaining ashwara nishthana madhura prakashitam saraswati pravah gontasi vire visme vipadecha in three circumstances in three circumstances braj gopis they see the opulence of krishna only seeing not believing they never believe the opulence of krishna what are these three occasions virahe means separation vismay astonishment and vipade in calamity only in these three occasions when krishna disappeared from raslila radharani all the gopis start imitating the past tense of krishna but radharani can't can't even hardly walk and she is lamenting saying anath raman preshta kwasi kwasi mahabuja dasyaste karpanne me sake darshanam sanidhim oh my beloved oh my lord the lord of my heart krishna where are you where are you where are you please extend your darshan to me i am your maid servant i am your maid servant the important point here is radharani never can say krishna that i am your maid servant no she can only say this in separation in union she can't say krishna i'm your maid servant she can't exhibit the submission mood the submissive mood in separate in union what happened in union she made krishna bow down to her krishna massage my feet krishna arrange my hair decorate my hair so krishna is serving to radha rani that's in union but in separation when the mood when the love enhances different emotions and then becoming submissive saying i am your maid servant this is also happen in material world relationship in separation i am missing you so much please come come here gurudev we want to see you we want to directly hear from you we want to serve you it's been so long so many months please come gurudev we want to serve you that's in separation but when gurudev comes then regular not so much importance <coughs> It's become a regular phenomena. No, yeah, Guru Dev is just staying here. What's the problem? Not important. But when he's far, <clears throat> then separation. And then that separation, 
so much importance <coughs> so sometime <coughs> shri gurudev also he play a past time and he put us in separation because in separation we remember more and more but in union we don't remember much in union we don't remember but in separation we remember please it's been so long please gurudev i really want to serve you i really want to serve but when gurudev is there then serving two three four days and then forgetting oh he's like my friend regular oh, that's that's about guru and disciple but in ordinary relationships also husband wife or some other relationship brother sister or any other relationship uh, mother son or daughter father oh. in union staying together irregular yeah there is love but is regularized but if father is going away oh if father is saying oh my daughters take care of yourself i'm going for 6 months maybe i have to stay one year out of this country i will see you after one year no daddy no and when when father is gone for some project for some work for one or two years the daughter is crying when will you come back we are really missing you so much please come back so much remembering so much remembering but in union regular so in separation in astonishment and in calamity gopi singh the opulence of krishna in gopi geet gopi geet is the song sung in separation vishu jala payar vyal rakshasha o krishna you are the one who subdued kaliya you are the one who killed this demon you are the one who did that you are the one who did that in separation submission submissive mood but in union they never say you did that you did this not this and that in union they are little proud and man sulky don't speak to me i don't want to see this black person so such a wonderful siddhanta which is so deep siddhanta explained by shri baldev with devotion prabhu by this simple example of meeting of these three rivers in this book siddhanta ratna oh even in kalamati seeing a big bull big horn coming right in the middle of the gopis to harm them and immediately gopis called out krishna krishna rakshamam help us help us the brajvasis sakhas krishna help nand baba ishoda maya that krishna who is who can't help himself always getting and seeking help from his sakhas or from his mother and father where when there is always union krishna can't even lift the shoe of nand baba nand baba ordering krishna bring my shoe and is taking so much hard efforts to lift the shoes of nand baba maharaj that's in union but in separation in union nan baba told krishna bring my shoes but in separation when krishna left went to 
Mathura and then Dwarika and Nanda Baba feeling separation from Krishna. And Krishna inspired Uddhavji to go to Braj and pacify his father Nanda Baba. Gachav Uddham Rajam Somyam. Oh beautiful one, Uddhav, go and pacify my father Nanda Maharaj. And when Uddhavji came to Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Baba, then in that separation, Nanda Baba is actually exhibiting the opulence of Krishna. Saying what? Nanda Maharaj is saying, Manu Subhrittinu Shayam Krishna Padabjum Ashraya Vacho Bidna Namnam Kayasta Parvadanishu Oh, I want my mind to always remember the feet of Krishna. I want to serve Krishna. Huh? Immediately mood reversed, changed. Yes, that's the question. In union? No. Even the Gopas complained to Nan Maharaj that I think Krishna is Supreme Lord. Because we saw he lifted Govardhan Hill for seven days, seven nights. And Nan Maharaj laughed so loudly. Ha ha ha. Krishna, Bhagwan, ha. what are you saying? We all got a centric, Nan Maharaj said. Old person. <laughs> Krishna cannot be Bhagwan. No, Bhagwan stealing butter? Nonsense. Bhagavan telling tell lies, stupid. Huh? Krishna is telling lies to his mother. I have not eaten mud. Bhagavan eating mud? What is this? Krishna is not Bhagavan. That's in union. But in separation? Oh, different mood. So, Virahe, in separation, this way and Vipadeka. That's the Siddhanta, the Tattva Shri Baldev Vidya Vishnu Prabhu established with this wonderful, beautiful Shloka. So, we all are separated from our Gurudev. And how many times we remember him? That's person to person. In separation, there's more remembrance. There's a desire. Gurudev, please come. I really want to serve you. But this mood is fine, it's good. But to serve Gurudev, the physical presence is not required. How can a disciple get proximity with Gurudev? How? Only when Gurudev comes in front, in his personal presence? No. A disciple can only get attachment, means development, sorry, developing attachment and feeling the presence, feeling that reciprocation, feeling that love with one's Diksha or Shiksha Gurudev, there is only one thing which makes Guru and disciple connected to each other. And that is service. Seva. <clears throat> Guru never wants disciple to serve him. Guru wants disciple to serve Krishna. And therefore, he distributes his services according to qualification. Okay, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. <clears throat> Extracting the services from disciple and offer to Krishna and make that disciple a recipient of the mercy of Krishna so that the compassion of the associates of Krishna falls on the disciple. And seeing the progress of disciple, Guru becomes so proud of the disciple. My disciple learning so much. He's getting so much fluent in speaking verses. So much fluent in speaking Harikatha. He's reading scriptures. He's practicing. <coughs> He's chanting nicely. 
That's the only mood of Sri Guru Dev. So, in that separation, one feels union. And there is only one thing which makes feel connected to Guru Dev is service. You will feel this. You will realize this. If you are dedicated to serve your Guru Dev, to whom you love, that's the only person to whom you love the most. They should love the most. I don't know. That's the, the word love is material, but I don't have any other word. If I say affection, that's different. If I say prema, that's different. But the general term which everyone understands, what can we say? We use this word. No. What can we say? In general sense, if someone, <clears throat> some boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or some relation, what is the general word we use? <clears throat> I miss you so much. <clears throat> I miss you so much. And the same word we apply to Gurudev. Gurudev, I miss you so much. But some third person can come and say, this is not correct. You are not supposed to say this word, miss you so much. Because you are a spiritual person, you are not supposed to say this, miss you so much to someone or someone should not supposed to say it to you. That looks like mundane, material. Okay, then what is the other word? Uh, can't wait for you. <coughs> Miss you so much. <coughs> can't wait for you. But this sentence <coughs> also applies to and can be applied to ordinary dealings also. Even a wife says this to husband. Can't wait for you. Or husband says this or friend says this. What to do? There is no other option. <coughs> As Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains in Jaya Dharma that in this material world, the language always has some contamination. That means to describe <coughs> the speciality of spiritual world or the dealings of spiritual world. What language or what description can we use? We have to, we are bound to take the words of this world, material world. We are bound. But that depends person to person how you perceive things, how you understand these things. <clears throat> Is it same? <clears throat> if a father tells to daughter, daughter, I love you so much. If a father tells to his wife, I love you so much. If a father tells to his sister, I love you so much. Or if a father tells to his mother, I love you so much. Is it same? <clears throat> Can it be same? But intelligent person have to supposed to understand in what relationship this word is being used. In what relationship? <clears throat> to sister, different. To mother, different. To daughter, different. To wife, different. <coughs> It's different. <clears throat> that needs to understand this. Uh, this needs maturity level, not immature level. <laughs> not immature level, the mature level. <clears throat> so when we sometimes say in Harikatha, Radharami love for Krishna is unparalleled. Oh, this word love is mundane <clears throat> or we say Yashoda Maya loves Krishna so much but before you said Radharani loved Krishna so much now you're saying Yashoda Maya loves Krishna so much what is the meaning one has to understand in what relationship this word has been used that depends 
so in separation and in union different moods reflect <clears throat> but there is one formula to always get connected to one's gurudev gurudev please let me know how i can serve you if you think me i am qualified or can you engage me in some kind of service there are some see this is also needs maturity level to understand i keep on saying this because i really feel this and i realize this seeing many devotees around the world a maturity level is very important in bhakti otherwise <laughs> otherwise always sanshay atma confusing 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 all this confusion and when there is confusion there is always fusion <laughs> when there is confusion there is always fusion sometime gurudev he gives universal orders <clears throat> and sometime there is personal orders <clears throat> universal orders ekadashi everyone is supposed to follow ekadashi fasting everyone should fast on krishna janmashtami or gaur purnim everyone supposed to chant minimum 16 rounds and it's good if you chant 64 rounds you should always read bhagavatam every day this is not personal orders this is universal which is delivered in hari katha but then there are some personal orders you should take care of management of temple you should always teach the grastas how to maintain uh, how to learn uh, deity worship you should preach you should do this you should write books you should do translation you should learn you should learn bhagavatam and go and give lectures on bhagavatam this is personal but when so personal and universal <clears throat> in personal orders the universal orders are inclusive but in universal order personal orders are not can be or cannot be inclusive understand very clear in personal order for example taruni gopi you all every day you have to learn one verse that's my expectation and that's my order to you now okay yes gurudev i will learn that's personal order but that doesn't mean what guru has said gurudev has said about following ekadashi following janmashtami serving temple deity worship chanting she has to reject that no that is also with personal order understand but when there is universal order in the class 100 people that's not personal that universal <clears throat> everyone has to follow that same but then there is also personal to individual yeah when we understand this there is a maturity level to understand shri guru then there is no confusion and there is no fusion and then there is no jealousy are baba gurudev gave me order to manage things gurudev gave you order to preach is different but there is also universal order then why i don't understand why then this envious or jealousy mood comes this is because of lack of maturity that's the only formula <clears throat> i'm just ending in 2 minutes even in this material world 
immediately person feel envious or jealousy my house is small only two bedroom set <clears throat> but i visited one house oh big house two floor big hall 10 rooms huh? they must be doing something wrong or what is the need of 10 house they think they are devotees devotees always have to maintain simplicity <clears throat> you know why this words coming up envious if a person is not envious he always think see everything positive and positivity means oh <clears throat> krishna <clears throat> you only want to give me two rooms according to my standard and according to maintain my bhakti then i don't have to make big hassle to clean and take care of my big house but yes i think he is more qualified than me because krishna has given him something important and potential for service is going to solve many purposes when there is a positivity there is no enviousness but when we want this thing but we don't want to say then this create a volcano create enviousness i have a small car how how come he has a big car eight people can sit i in my car only three maximum four yeah they are not devotee in sense enjoyment they are not practicing good guru dev never told to become to live in opulent life you know why this words coming because the person also wants to have big car so his his desires are there but some or the other because everyone is according to karmas right then where is the point of jealousy or envious there i'll be foolish if i see you know i'm staying in one house and next door a very opulent i'll be foolish if i'm saying why he is having living opulent house big house and i'm in a small house and so humble uh, situation we can't even stop the rain water uh, gushing in our rooms and spoiling everything we can't even stop that <laughs> spoiling everything oh this house is better you see even heavy rain nothing happened i'll be foolish if i'm thinking this because try understand this point very important any person who is rich or who has become rich is by is happening because of his previous karmas and that happens because of pious activities i perform 80% pious activities and i am the one who is going to enjoy that my next my neighbor or my friend only had 30 percent pies, and he can only enjoy 30 percent. It's just exactly one has hundred dollars, another has thirty dollars. You can only enjoy according to what you have. Another person enjoying hundred dollars because he has hundred dollars. But why he got hundred dollars? Because of his previous life pies deeds, and that's coming on his way, and that now depends on that person. he want to enjoy that or he want to engage that 100 dollar in the service of krishna and guru that is his headache why i have to dwell up envious to that person understand my point why a person is rich oh why for instance why gates is so rich one number in the whole world why and why not i am rich like him or like why alexander is the king why not me 
can we develop some envious why he is like this no he earned this that person is on this situation because he earned this situation how he earned this situation because of many lifetimes of pious deeds he is sitting on that throne of a king because of many time pious deeds and pious deeds means for pious deeds one have to do some endeavors so he has done this endeavors for many lifetimes and now in cash is king is king and is getting glorified by everyone acknowledged by everyone served by everyone he is the ruler he can do everything because he earned this how he earned this previous life i am karmas when he was earning this i was spoiling this and that's why i am in a different situation he is on a different situation understand so this enviousness is not a room especially for devotees and for any ordinary person everyone earns his own right if you work if you have business you earn with your endeavors you can earn 10000 euros a person can earn 1 million in one day he's earning this and accordingly one enjoys this so those who are you know artists young young smith alexandra all this <laughs> why they are famous because why not other singers got famous why only them five speaks <clears throat> and they earned those five days with their hard endeavors for that understand that's why no point of endless at any point of life one goes through very high opulence at any point of time one goes down to earth from opulent position like a pauper or like a beggar i've seen with my own eyes many examples like this uh, very close to those people seen them rising from this to that and from that to down all karma previous activities now after coming on that position of being opulent like a king now that depends on this lifetime of that person how is engaging his opulence is 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 he engaging his opulence for his enjoyment or to serve krishna everything of his belongs to krishna before he got five days and he got opulence but now he's engaging this five days as opulence in bhakti and in service and what you get in return in return he will get bhakti that's the formula gaur premanande hari hari bol so our topic varnashram dharma <laughs> i wanted to say i wanted to uh, decide another verse or explain another verse but the time passed very fast tomorrow we will continue with this topic dharma agyan tamer naam kahi kaitav dharma arth kaam mancha ai sab i can see i can see on the screen hmm. this the karuni gopin radha sundari they are repeating i can see they are repeating this they learned this verse one more time agyan tamer naam kahi kaitav dharma arth kaam mancha ai sab ai si i just 